Hi friends, this is going to be a short video. Uh, I'm just going to talk about a few things. Recently I had someone reach out to me about the possibility of making some short videos focusing on like the parts of a pet, the nose, the eyes. You know, and I thought about that and I have to say I don't really have, uh, there are a few things that I'll show you that I do, but mostly it's about observation and painting what I see. You know, every nose is different. Um, so I don't have a formula for those things. One thing I do is uh, if someone gives me a photo, for example, they don't email me a photo, they hand me a photo. Sometimes the pets have passed away and they, you know, they give you a, a photo to work from. I photograph it. That's one thing I always do. I get it on my iPad and then I can work from the iPad. Um, I can, you know, then I can zoom in on the eye and get the detail that I need to get. This is a commission that I'm going to be doing soon. Um, so that is one thing I always do. I get it on my iPad so I can work from my iPad. And th like I said, this won't be long. I'll show you just a couple things I do. And you've watched me paint pets. If you watch my channel, you know some of what I do. Um, one thing I do, grab a brush here is I mix up a dark color and uh, make sure you can see I place the eyes and nose just with dark just this is canvas paper so this is difficult to paint on but I place the eyes and nose just with dark patches like that as I'm blocking them in that's usually how I start okay now there are some things that, um, of course it depends on lighting too, everything changes with lighting. Um, there are some things that I've noticed about most dogs' noses and cats too, is one thing for example is the nostrils are always darker, you know, I'm not sure I have this light enough for that to show up. And most generally, again not always because it's about observation. In most cases, the top of the nose is a lighter value because that's a flatter plane. It comes out and this goes down. Uh, a couple other small things that I notice that most of them have is most of them have a line down the center here. And most, again, a lot of times you'll see a little highlight at the bottom of the nostril. But again, it's about observation. The shape is not all, you know, perfectly round. There's all different shapes to them. And a lot of dogs' noses especially will be a pink color. You see that too. So again, I wasn't really paying much attention to his nose, but let me show you his little nose. You know, it's all about getting that shape. But that's the way I start. I just block in. I'll get you closer to it here at the end. And you'll see, it looks like a dog's nose. But real important, you get the exact shape of it. And again, in most cases, not always. Now, if this dog was catching sunlight from the front, this would be very lit here. So everyone is different. I mean, so that's what it's about. Think a couple things on the eyes. I start out like that with a dark patch, then I look at the eye real close. How much, if any, white do you see? Do you see it on both sides of the pupil? One side? What is the shape of it? And it's usually not bright white necessarily. It's more about values, so it could be a blue color even. But in that eye, for example, you see, let me get you down just a little bit so. In that eye, for example, we see just that little bit of light color just on one side, right? So I usually then, that would be the next thing I do, would try to place that in. And sometimes you have to go back several times. I mean, we're painting over black, so that's not as light as we're going to want it in the finished painting. Okay? And then um, the pupil's going to always be darker. Sometimes when you look at these pets, and usually you have a dark area around the eye, but the pupils, and sometimes a little pink in the corner, 
Uh, but again, if I have a dog where I really can't see any color in the eye, which is not uncommon at all, what I usually do is I'll take maybe some transparent red oxide, maybe a little yellow, you know, make something warm. And even if I don't see it, I usually put a little bit of warm color in there. It just brings a little bit of life to the eye. I realize this is not, you know, we're just playing around here. But again, then we're going to, you know, we would outline the eye and get the shape. Just work our way toward it. And the thing that really brings it to life, you know, is the little catch light in the eye. And again, look for them too. Sometimes they're brighter than other times, you know. But that's the thing that really wakes that eye up and brings it to life. Um, But again, you know, we're just playing around here. But just keep at it till you get it, you know. But there's no, you know, this this would all be gone. For example, you know, we would we would create this eye from that from that little shape that we made. But again, all about value and color. Wherever you see it, it's a little darker there. It's a little darker above. I'm always saying it's a puzzle, and it is. So that was a quickie video. I'll back up and, and I'll zoom in and show you. Again, we weren't trying to do anything specific, but it's about always about observation, painting what you see. And if you don't see it, which sometimes you, you know, I've painted a lot of pets that are deceased and <laughs> from bad photos, and I try not to do that, but sometimes you don't have any choice. So again, say that I looks all black to you and um, you don't see much in the eye. Usually I'll do a little warmth in the bottom of it. You know, that helps bring it to life. And, and even if you don't see a catch light, maybe sometimes you want one. You know, because again, that really wakes the eye up. So let me show you. Get you in there a little bit. Here, let's fold these legs up. And there's the little nose. Not great light here to see. But again, this is not always. This is, in most cases, you know, you'll find a lighter on the tops. And as I put a little blue and a little white, the nostrils tend to be darker. And a lot of times you see a little catch light at the bottom of the nostril. So hopefully that's helpful to somebody. But again, everyone's different. You gotta, and the eyes are so important. You know, it has to be their, their pet. All right. Catch you soon. Have a wonderful day.